Okay, um, so let's um, move on to um, the next uh, pit of debris on a larger scale that I want to tell you about. Let's move on from single stars. I want to take you on to entire galaxies. So um, galaxies um, are fragile things. When one galaxy approaches another, and they do, there are so many of them, they can actually be disrupted and um, leave debris trails behind. And so we can study these debris trails, which are stars or gas, and learn about what happened a long time ago when galaxies collided with each other. So we're now moving away from the stars. That's our Milky Way scales of thousands of light years to scales of maybe millions of light years, okay, the, the larger scale structure around us. So here's a, a, an example. This is a, a computer simulation of, um, of a small galaxy coming in into the Milky Way, and it's being pulled apart by what we call galactic tides. So because as this galaxy approaches our Milky Way, the inner part feels a stronger force than the outer part, and that stretches it out and eventually leaves behind this whole old stream of debris. Okay? And so this is a signature of the debris from nearby galaxies. Now, this is interesting because um, for the, um, the, the explosions of stars, clearly the carbon that we are made of, all this stuff, came from stars within a few hundred light years. You know, the, it took a certain time for the debris to circulate. But now we're looking on a scale that might be millions of light years, the entire region around the Milky Way. Small galaxies come in and they can spread their debris. So it's a whole different scale of phenomena, but the same sort of thing applies. This mixing from larger scales. So does this mixing actually occur? Well, this is, this is a computer simulation. So what I want to show you next is an image taken with a small telescope. This is a one-meter telescope taken actually by an amateur astronomer um, originally. Okay, And so... Um, he just looks with a very powerful CCD camera, very deep with a small, a small telescope is useful because there's a large field of view. And around this apparently nor, near normal galaxy, okay, nearby galaxy, um, which is overexposed in this picture, he picks up these really faint streams. Okay? Um, and so these streams are due to, uh, again, a small companion falling in and being pulled apart as it goes around at least twice around this galaxy. And again, um, computer simulations um, show you a similar story. So here's an example of um, computer simulations, again, just trying to mimic this phenomenon. And again, you can produce these same patterns. So when you see patterns like this around galaxies, you know that they're fossils of something violent that happened a long time ago. In this case, um, uh, certainly, um, you know, hundreds of thousands, mil millions of years ago, probably a hundred million years ago even, because that's the time it takes, roughly speaking, one orbit, okay? So we're, we're really sampling the past, okay? Long before, say, the dinosaurs were formed, etc. cetera, in, in relative terms for the Milky Way, you, you know, for the, uh, the solar system, we can study what happened um, by studying the past.